we could describe Charles Duke with one word, it would be enthusiastic. He is enthusiastic about space travel, flying, and helping people. Charles Moss Duke Jr. was born October 3, 1935 in Charlotte, North Carolina. He is best known as the voice that accompanied the Apollo 11 broadcast of Neil Armstrong making his historic landing. Get tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again, thanks a lot. His voice relays pure excitement that was genuine to who he is as a person. He was always interested in flying, even at a young age. He once said, I looked up into the sky. It was the beginning of the jet age, and there were these long white contrails behind these airplanes. I'd like to make a contrail one day. As a Naval Academy graduate, he would learn the hard way he had a pension for seasickness. He would eventually find his way to the U.S. Air Force as a transfer. Due to his academic achievement in flight training school, he was given his choice of flight assignments. He would choose to be a fighter pilot and would go on to fly the F-86 Sabre. Duke couldn't help but want to fly further than the Earth could provide. His distinguished flight career would land him in astronaut group five. His voice can be heard in the Apollo 10 recording as the capsule communicator or Capcom from Mission Control. Okay, Charlie Brown and Snoop, uh, three minutes uh, going over the hill. You're go for undocking, and we'll see you around the other side. Roger. Roger. For Apollo 11, Armstrong recommended Duke serve as Capcom for Apollo 11 as well. Duke would fly as lunar module pilot for Apollo 16. Him and Commander John Young spent 71 hours on the lunar surface. Okay, two down. Stand by for contact. Come a letter down. You level off. Letter on down. Okay, 76%. Plenty fat. Contact. Stop. If you ask Charlie Duke today about his trip to the moon, he would likely just say in his own humble way, hey, I've been there. If you'd like to know more about Duke and his experience on the moon, check out his book, Moonwalker. He discusses things other astronauts don't normally touch on in their biographies about space travel, including using the bathroom in space, privacy, the cost of the Apollo program, and his journey to becoming a born-again Christian after leaving NASA. Charlie Duke has lived an amazing life. He dedicated himself to scholarships and aviation consulting. For that, sir, we applaud you. You are an aviation pioneer and a great person.